president came into the Oval Office and Senator Lindsey Graham and I made our presentation. We have been working for four months, six senators, three Democrats and three Republicans, to, cre to create a bipartisan way to deal with the crisis we face, where more than 700,000 uh, DREAMers protected by DACA are going to lose that protection starting March 5th of this year by a thousand a day. As Senator Graham made his presentation, the president interrupted him several times with questions and in the course of his comments uh, said things which were hate-filled, vile, and racist. I use those words advisedly. I understand how powerful they are. But I cannot believe that in the history of the White House, in that Oval Office, any president has ever spoken the words that I personally heard our president speak yesterday. You've seen the comments in the press. I have not read one of them that's inaccurate. To no surprise, the president started tweeting this morning denying that he used those words. It is not true. He said these hate-filled things, and he said them repeatedly. When the question was raised about Haitians, for example, we have a group that have temporary protected status in the United States because they were the victims of crises and disasters and political upheaval. The largest group is El Salvador, and the second is Honduran, and the third is Haitian. And when I mentioned that fact to him, he said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians? And then he went on when we started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this uh, bipartisan measure. That's when he used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from shitholes. The exact word used by the president, not more, not just once, but repeatedly. Uh, that was the nature of this conversation. When it came to the issue of, quote, chain migration, I said to the president, do you realize how painful that term is to so many people? African Americans believe that they migrated to America in chains. And when you speak about chain migration, it hurts them personally. And he said, oh, that's a good line. And then when I talked to him about the impact this has on family unification in a nation that values families with the flag as the most important symbols of our future, they scoffed at this notion. It was a heartbreaking moment. But I will tell you this, I'm not going to quit. I have a singular mission, and the mission is this, to give these dreamers and as many members of their families as possible a chance to be part of America's future in a legal status.